Good day, warriors. Here is another video of Viking Rise, since we have not yet covered any KVK or Kingdom versus Kingdom event. I have decided to create new account on this server. This kingdom is said to be near the KVK event, so I hope we can participate in the said event, but I am sure we really need to recharge. I hope not that big amount of money, just so we can be able to reach the Chief Hall level 20 and unlock at least the T4 troops, so we can be able to join the KVK event. And there are four things I want you to know before the KVK event, and that is what we are going to show you in today's video. But before we jump in, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips. So, this is our fresh account to this kingdom, and I hope we can reach the Chief Hall level 20 and unlock the T4 troops before the KVK event. I am planning to recharge some amount of money here, so this account is not that pure F2P account anymore, unlike what we have started. I hope this will work out fine. To start with, let's go and check the event first to this kingdom. You can see here that the time-limited migration event has come to an end, and this is the proof that this kingdom is near to KVK event. I think there will be a pre-KVK event before the real kingdom versus kingdoms start. We can also check the coming event here at this tab, the event calendar, and it seems like we have no coming event related to KVK yet. I think we still have one month before the KVK event starts. But anyway, there are four things I want to share to you, and I want you to know these four things before the Kingdom versus Kingdom event comes. The first thing that most player says that you have to reach at least Chief Hall 20 and unlock more T4 troops, at least if you want to participate in the Kingdom versus Kingdom event. If you start in the newest kingdom, you can have more than 40 days to prepare for the KVK event. So I think that is not a problem for F2P players, but if you create an account on the kingdom that is near to KVK event, then I think you need to recharge some amount of money to reach that required level of Chief Hall. The number two on our list that I want to share is you have to save a lot of resources. Most player says it will require a lot of resources to heal your wounded troops, and I am wondering if we can have wounded troops once we enter the player versus player battlefield. But just to make sure, we really need to stock a lot of resources before the KVK event. Again, if you start on the fresh server, then you can have a lot of time to save a lot of resources, but I will still recommend you to have a farm account. I have created a video about the farm account. You can check it out on our channel or comment down so I can share the link. Some player that are not F2P are really creating farm account just to secure a lot of resources for their main account. So, what more about the F2P players? The number three on our list is you have to save a lot of energy potion. The KVK event will need your troops to go out, move out, target the targets, and with that, you have to have a lot of energy potion, so you can be able to move your troops. I would suggest to you that from the day you started your account, you have to level up at least your prosperity to level 5. Level 5 prosperity will give you big discounts to the three items that are very important to the game, including the energy potion. Let us go to our honey tavern. You can see here that I am still at level 1 prosperity. That means that I can buy the energy potion. You have no excuse for that. You need to buy all of this energy potion every week. Every Monday at reset, these items will be refreshed. You have to buy all of the energy potion here within a week, so you can buy another in the coming week. That way, you can save a lot of energy potion. But there are other two important items you need to have. That is the Monster Essence. Monster Essence is needed to upgrade your squad base, and you are going to have a lot of this. Also the Thorny Spikes. Thorny Spikes is needed to upgrade your tower. So I would suggest to you to level up your prosperity level to at least level five. 
so you can buy these three important items since day one of your account. Every week you must buy all of them in the Prosperity Merchant. You are going to need them before the KVK event. The fourth and the last thing that I want to say is you have to save a lot of member credit points. Let us go to our tribe shop. Here is the member credit points. Before I have known about the KVK event, I always use a lot of my member credit point to buy more speedups, which is now I just realized was wrong, especially if you are F2P player. I would suggest to you that since day one, you must start saving member credit point at least reached 2.5 million member credit points before the KVK event. Let us go to the map. Before the KVK event, you have to occupy the Sanctum. After you occupy the Sanctum, the king of your kingdom will take his throne. That may be will cause a lot of misunderstandings among other tribes, and if you are not lucky, you will be having a bad kingdom anyway, if it will not bring unity in your kingdom. But you are lucky if your kingdom will have a unity after the your kingdom occupies the Sanctum. The good thing about the game is it offer a migration before the KVK event. So you have the option to migrate if you want to. That is the use of the member credit points in the tribe shop. The migration pass will cost 300,000 member credit points and you will be needing to have 8 or 10 or 12 migration pass depending on the kingdom that you choose. So you have to save also member credit points before the KVK event start. Those four things that I want you to know before the Kingdom versus Kingdom event occur. If you have other additional thoughts, then you can share them to us using the comment box below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips.